गुड मॉर्निंग स्टूडेंट्स सो टुडे वील लर्न चैप्टर वील लर्न चैप्टर थ्री ओके विच इज इन योर सिलेबस दैट इज प्लेइंग विथ नंबर्स इज इन इट सो टुडे वील ट्राई टू लर्न सम डिफिनेशन एंड सोल्व एक्सरसाइज थ्री पॉइंट वन ओके सो फर्स्ट नोट डाउन दैट चैप्टर नेम इज playing with numbers and this is chapter 3 so we have to know some definitions which is important for this chapter so first of all let us know what is factor so what is meant by factor so factor we can say that all the numbers which divides the given number are called factors of a number okay all the numbers which divides the given number are called factors of a number so if we say what are the factors of 4 so what will you say because in the definition i said that it should divide the given number so if you see in your multiplication table 2 and 4 only these two number divides the given number 4 isn't it and also 1 because when you say 1 sorry 4 divided by 1 is for uh, four and then also what if you say factors is another is two isn't it so four divided by two you get two and then lastly four divided by four is one so you can say that these factors are the factors of four because it divides this given number four in its multiplication table Okay, can we say that three is a uh, is a factor of four? No, because this three does not divide the number four. Okay, so this three is not a factor of four. Let's take another example. If I say what are the factors of eight, what will be your answer? So you will check that uh, if one is divisible in its timetable or not. Then we can say also two is divisible. Two divides eight. Two four are eight, and also four divides eight. That is four. Two are eight. Similarly, uh, eight. Eight one is eight. So these four numbers are factors of eight. Okay. Oh, can you say uh, seven is a factor of eight? No. Why? Because this seven does not divide eight. In seven timetable, we did we do not get eight. That is why this is not a factor of eight. Okay. Now we have to know what are the multiples. What do you mean by multiples? So we can say that in definition terms, we can say that the product of two numbers, the product of two numbers, is a multiple of. two numbers okay so let's take example if i say 35 so what are the multiples of 35 you will say that 5 into 7 will give you 35 isn't it so this number 5 and 7 are the multiples of this number 35 okay so what are the uh, multiples of 35 5 and 7 are the multiples of uh, 35 why because it is giving the product isn't it 5 into 7 is giving you 35 so we can say that the number 5 and 7 are the multiples of 35 okay and what about 14 let's take one more example what will be the multiples of 14 2 into 7 will give you the multiples of 14 also like 7 into 2 same so this 7 and 2 are the multiples of 14 okay hope you understand Now with this, we'll try to solve exercise three point one. Okay. Exercise three point one. What is the first question? Write down the factors of the following, isn't it? So the first one is given twenty four. Twenty four is given. So how will you find out the factors of this twenty four? In whichever Uh, timetable this twenty four is present. Okay, starting from one. 
in which ever number this time table uh, sorry this number 24 is present in that timetable it will be the factors so you can imagine uh, the in, is 24 divisible by 1 obviously 124 is 1 into 24 will give you 24 so this is the factor of 24 can you divide 24 with 2 obviously 2 12 are 24 so this is also another factor what about 3 you will go in this way okay thinking every number 1 2 3 4 5 6 up to 24 so now uh, 3 will it will it will 3 divide 24 yes 3 what 3 8 are 24 so this will also be a factor similarly 4 also 4 6 are 24 what about uh, 6 5 will it 5 will 5 divide 24 no because this is an even number so 5 will not divide 24 and it will also not be a factors okay next is 6 6 will divide 24 isn't it so 6 3 are sorry 6 4 are 24 so also this is a factor will 7 be a factor of 24 no because it is not present in the timetable of 7 so this is not a factor okay next will be 8 because 8 3 are 24 Similarly, in this way, we will think then the number 12 will come because 12, what? 12, 2 are 24. And lastly, the number 24. So, in this way, you have to find out the factors, okay? So, this is the answer for number 1. So, let's, I'll try to solve two more for you. 15. Number 2 is 15, isn't it? Number B. So, 15 is uh, starting from 1. 1 is... Oh, 1 is every time the factor of f each and every number okay this is uh, one good definition 1 is a factor of each and every number so whenever you find the factors 1 will always come so next next what will be the uh, can you imagine the numbers 2 will will 2 be a factor of 15 no because it is not present in the timetable of 15 so this 2 will not be present what about 3 yes because 3 5 are 15 so it is present so it will be a factor okay what about 4 no because 15 is not present in the timetable of 4 so this is not a factor what about next 5 because 5 3 are 15 so 5 is a factor of 15 okay uh, what will be the last one 15 itself because other will not divide because if you think in your mind 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 13 14 in these numbers the number 15 will not be present in their timetable so lastly we'll have only 15 so this is are the factors of 15 okay in this way i'll try to solve one more for you number c that is 27 is given in your uh, 27 is given in your textbook isn't it so one i told you factors of you can also write like this factors of 27 equals to I told you 1 will always be a factor of each and every number so 1 is the first one what about next next is will 2 be a factor of 27 no because in 2 timetable 27 is not present that is why it will not be a factor so next will be 3 because in 3 timetable we are having 3 3 9 are 27 okay so this will be a factor 3 will be a factor what about next if you think 4 5 6 7 8 these numbers do not have the number 27 in their timetable so it will not be a factor so next will be 9 9 9 3 are 27 okay so 9 3 are 27 and lastly what the number 27 itself so these are the factors of 27 how we will see the factor is that you try other others okay it will be a homework so and uh, you will see in such a way that it should be present in the timetable of that number okay otherwise it will not be a factor okay okay the next one is write the first five multiples okay so the first one is five it is given five so what do we mean by the write down the first five multiple it means you have to write the first five uh, uh, numbers in which the multiple 5 a uh, timetable okay like 5 1 is 5 5 2 is are 10 5 3 are 15 5 4 are 20 5 5 are 25 
so these are the first five multiples of five okay suppose it was telling you so write down the six multiples that means you will also include 30 because this is the sixth one but in the question it is only saying fifth multiple so we will write till here okay this is correct what is the next one number eight eight is given so what will be the first eight multiples just the write down the timetable eight one is eight eight two are sixteen eight three are twenty four eight four are thirty two and lastly forty okay in this way you have to solve the multiples okay the last one is match the following okay match the following what you will do is uh, you try to match with yourself first otherwise uh, it is given in this way the answers okay i have done the, this for you but you try to understand and then only copy okay because this is simply the either the multiple or the factors so i have explained you the definition so i i hope you will be able to understand it in your own okay thank you so we finished exercise 3.1 with this uh, video okay thank you